Do you feel like you need an external MIDI controller? In this video, I show how the HX Storm, specifically Command Center, can be a simple solution to programming presets on my Strive Factor Storm. Hello and welcome to the video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Justin and I'm all about worship guitar, helping you sound and play your best for Jesus. Please consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button, and heading on over to my Buy Me A Coffee page to download these patches and more to support these videos and my ministry. If you've met before, welcome back. In my previous video, I reviewed my first HX Storm pedal board build with my Strymon Mobius, Timeline and Big Sky. I mentioned that it was possible to control the strife factor using MIDI from the HX Storm, and some of you have requested for a breakdown as to how to set Command Center up. From here on, it's going to get technical, so please use the chapter markers in this video to jump back to the various sections as often as you need. The name of the game is understanding that HX Storm transmits MIDI messages and the Strymons receive MIDI messages. On the 3.0 firmware update, the stock can send MIDI messages with Command Center and you can configure these messages to be sent in a variety of ways like assigning a dedicated foot switch or to be triggered via snapshots. There are two kinds of MIDI messages, Program Change or PC and Continuous Controller or CC. PC messages are usually for patch changes while CC messages are for bypass and expression control. Let's work backwards from your MIDI devices. You're going to enter the global settings on your devices and configure them to be on different MIDI channels so that they don't respond to the same messages that your swamp will be sending. Think of each of your pedals as houses with distinct addresses. If you want to send a different letter of instructions to each house, the recipients need to be living in different addresses or they will receive the same letter. I set my Strymons to the following channels. Timeline on channel 1, Mobiles on channel 2, and Big Sky on channel 3. If I only wanted to change presets on the timeline, I could figure the stop and transmit via channel 1. I'm going to use snapshots to change presets on my Strymons, so moving between snapshots will trigger different PC and CC messages. To do this, go to Command Center and click on any one of the available instant commands. These are the lightning bolts, and there should be 6 of them. Select Program Change and under MIDI Channel, select 1, then under Program Change, select 0. Now, whenever you trigger Snapshot 1, Program Change 0 will be sent via MIDI Channel 1, vis a -vis to the timeline. Special note, the slightly irritating thing to wrap your head around is that Strymon devices display their presets via bank and letter, which are not enumerated. This means that while you program the piece messages from 0, 1, 2, and 3, and so on, the timeline's preset is counted as 0A, 0B, 1A, and 1B. This is slightly more confusing on the big sky, where PC 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5 correspond to 0A, 0B, 0C, 1A, 1B, 1C, etc. etc. If nothing makes sense, I've created a free template that you can use to fill in the names of your Strymon presets and their corresponding PC numbers. This is available in my free pack. Stacking commands. The cool thing with Command Center is that you can stack MIDI message sends up to 6 of them. So in addition to changing presets via PC messages, you could also trigger remote bypass via CC messages. In this example, I'm going to change presets on my timeline in Big Sky but bypass the Mobius in Snapshot 2. 
To do this, I consult the Mobius manual and check which CC message triggers bypass. In this case, CC102 with value 0 turns the pedal off, while CC102 value 127 turns the pedal on. So I set up this instant command. Control change, MIDI channel 2, message number 102, value 0. I then program my other sounds on the timeline in Big Sky using the method mentioned earlier. After programming, this is what happens when I trigger snapshot 2. Out of three snapshots on HX Storm, I put my most used Strymon presets on the same bank for snapshot 1. Two delays, two mods, and three reverbs are plenty to live 90% of the time in a setlist. For that special sound requiring a univibe sound from the Mobius, a wide ping pong delay on the timeline, and short reverb on the big sky, I set that to snapshot 2. Last but not least, for that big washy swell tone, I put my most heavily affected sounds on snapshot 3. Here's a breakdown of the signal chain and the sounds that I can get from this setup. I start with the Hotone Valve Press, that's a combo wild volume pedal, my absolute favourite and staple on all my boards, going into the input of the HX Stomp. My wet effects are all plugged into a stereo FX loop. The FX loop has a mono send to the Mobius, then stereo out to the timeline, then to the big sky, terminating with the Nunabur Immerse Mark II. Quick aside, I have a suspicion that the Strymon pedals have some sort of mild bright compression going on, even though they are touted as being true bypass and have no tonal coloration. I can achieve that bright compressed Bethel tone very easily with this setup that I find harder to replicate on the Helix. My timeline has mainly two delays, a darker quarter note with a low mix for up-tempo songs and a brighter dotted eighth note with high mix. Mobius is the least used pedal but it has the important job of having two settings of chorus, a wide and lush sound that's emulating a CE2 that I used to have, and a faster VB2 style sound that's instant, this is Amazing Grace. <laughs>
and Big Sky is set up with three go-to settings, a lower mix modulated hall reverb that emulates an Earth Cricket Devices dispatch master that I used to have, a brighter plate reverb that I use for Bethel style sounds, and a cloud reverb for faux pads. If I need to, I'll stack with the shimmer on the Nunaba Immerse Mark II for that Holy Spirit descending sound. Of course, I kid. The Holy Spirit will descend on us regardless of pedal choices. Don't promote bad pedal theology. Which brings us to today's bonus and question of the day. This pack is part of my HX Storm Worship Essentials pack, which contains mostly all-in-one solutions, but I'm now including pedalboard centric solutions. For you guys who previously bought the pack, it's a free update, so check the folder link. Question of the day. Do you love or hate MIDI? How are you using MIDI to control your pedalboard? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. That's it for me, thanks for watching this video. If you've gotten value out of it, like it and share it with someone whom you know is interested in using the HX Storm as a simple MIDI controller. Until next time, I'm Justin, and I'm all about Worship Guitar.